Nielsen is back in the borderland today to see firsthand the crisis at the border. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields live with more on the secretary's tour. I'm here at this port of entry, which was one of Nielsen's first stops here in El Paso as she reviewed the measures surrounding the reassignment of port of entry personnel to areas where there's a surge of incoming migrants. We caught up with Nielsen's SUV convoy leaving the Paso del Norte port of entry, as you can see in this video. According to DHS, Nielsen met with frontline operators to assess the department's response and efforts to increase federal presence in the area and restore order. She also reviewed the measures and announced earlier this week to reassign port of entry personnel and aid agents in processing the large number of migrants arriving every day. KTSM followed the convoy to the El Paso Border Patrol Station in Northeast El Paso. You can see them here arriving. This is where migrant families are being transported. The White House commenting on Nielsen's efforts. Secretary Nielsen has taken the step of redeploying resources, moving them from the ports of entry to the areas where there are the surge of, of illegal immigrants coming through the border, and also working closely with Mexico so that uh, we, you know, we put into place the migration mitigation protocol. According to the White House Director of Strategic Communications, this would ensure that migrants seeking asylum would stay in Mexico as their claims are being processed. Secretary Nielsen is also scheduled to visit Yuma, Arizona, following her visit here in El Paso. And on Friday, she's set to meet with President Trump in California. For now, live near the U.S.-Mexico border, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News. All right, thank you, Stephanie.